five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, from the most infected city in America, it's the Ramble with Alex Bennett. We go until midnight tonight. All right, in spite of the coronavirus and everything else, uh, we always call this person in advance because when he picks up, it's always funny. Okay. There we go. Ringing. Ringing. It's ringing. We now return to Lust for Life, the Vincent Van Gogh star he saw in Kirk Douglas. This baby needs more green. <laughs> I'm, I think I've got Starry Night. Someday some asshole's going to write a song about it. Oh. Hello, Stephen uh, Pearl. A little tribute to Kirk Douglas. Yeah, yeah. I was a little late in calling you. I, I usually, yeah, right. I'm very good about it. And then uh, I got to watching uh, Mario Cuomo gives his daily briefing, uh, and yeah. it went past one o'clock when when I usually uh-huh. call you. And uh, they, I know it's no excuse, but I got so wrapped up in hearing what he had to say. You know, uh, you're finished. You're through. You're fired. That's it. Oh, Mrs. Carmichael. Uh, well, yeah, you gotta, you gotta see what's going on first before uh, we have the fun. Yeah. So. yeah. so, how's everything out there in the, in Vegas? How's how's your infection rate going? Oh, I, don't, I haven't seen any. I, don't, I haven't seen anyone who's like uh, coughing up little satellites or anything. So, uh, I I don't know. I, I'm, I've been inside. I go out there, go to the store, I come back, and uh, I get loaded all day. I smoke and drink coffee. So that's it. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on. Well, you're kind of by yourself, right? So you're you're um, me and the me and the cats, brother. Now, are they telling <laughs> you to stay in place uh, in the in no, Las Vegas? No, we're not grounded. We're not grounded. So, and I've been to the store without a mask, and nobody screams or anything. So, because I don't even know where to get one. So, uh, but uh, it, it's it's what it is. It's just it's deserted. You go down the strip, all the windows are dark on the hotels and everything. It's crazy. The hotels, like everywhere are, else, is the, ho- the hotels are all closed, right? Yeah, everything's closed. Everything's even, closed. even if they weren't closed, how could people get to them? Because all the airlines are kind of like nobody right. wants to fly on an airplane. You know? Yeah, it's it's just crazy. It's crazy out there. So. Be careful, folks. Stay home. So there are a lot of people out of work. I mean, in yeah, in, everybody's out of work. The, Everybody, people, what, what, dealers and comedians and singers and what, name it, people who work at the bank. The, a lot of the banks are closed. You got to go to certain branches, like the and it's all drive through. Isn't and, the largest uh, union? Yeah, it's just, isn't the largest union there the hotel workers union or something? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. It's just uh, I think Vegas has ever seen. I think they dimmed the lights for ten minutes when Bugsy Siegel got killed, but that's about it. The place is always. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Oh man! Yeah, you know, that reminds me when when Phil Spector killed that girl. The police found the bullet in a wall of sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's like uh, like uh, this is like a uh, this is a clusterfuck. It really is. It's amazing. I've never seen anything like this ever, and the, 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 I don't know. I don't want to get. I don't want to get this thing. So I'm, I'm usually, I'm staying in. There's nowhere to go. I I, I see friends like once a week. I mean, you know, I, 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 I go to a friend's house for dinner once a week just to, so we can have some human contact. And so far, everything's good. So uh, yeah, we shall see. I'm 80 years old, and I've seen nothing like this in my lifetime. Yeah, I yeah, can't remember. Than me. Yeah, you know, I've been through a few blackouts in New York City. Uh, I wasn't here for nine eleven, but I can only imagine. Oh you know, yeah, sure. Uh, nine eleven was horrible. Uh, but but this, I've never, I've never been involved in anything like this in my life. You know. It's insane. It's like that movie, The World of Flesh and the Devil, with Harry Belafonte, when the world ends and him and two other people the only ones left on Earth. And uh, I, think, I think they cleared out New York to film this. It's like what it is now. It's no, I, I, Harry Belafonte on the street, nobody else. I mentioned that film the other night on my program because I saw yeah. it. They were running it on uh, Turner Classic Movies. 
Um, mm -hmm. It is, uh, well, it's one of the racially perfect pictures, you know, because, yeah. Oh, yeah. because he's black and she's white and he's a racist. Then they're yep. the only three people left in the world. Yep. Hey, crazy yeah. movie. And uh, they they did empty out some streets. How they did it, I remember the story. They, they It wasn't that they emptied the streets out. It's just you could go to Times Square on Sunday morning at, say, 5 o'clock when the sun was bright enough to shoot uh -huh. in the summer. And it would be pretty <laughs> empty. So you could just block off the streets for a couple hours, and nobody, yeah. would, nobody would yeah, complain. Yeah, but you do that because it it's like it's like what it is now. It's insane. But, Except you don't have Harry Belafonte running down the street singing. So. <laughs> well, that that that's a saving grace for all of us. But anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, but it's uh, so so it's it, so it must be just eerie to see no lights on uh, on the strip. It's yeah. weird. You know, the, the hotel lights are still on. There's like the signs, you know, this tower, the Trump Tower or whatever, you know, the the, the mandolin or whatever. But all the windows are dark. So, you know, you get this big logo, or this lit, bright lit logo, bright lit logo, and uh, nothing underneath it, just dark. That has got to be killing that town. It is, man. Everybody, people, this is a 24-hour town, you know. Go out there, be active. You know, I'm going, that's not getting on stage or anything. It's just crazy. Thank God for things like Facebook. I can keep in touch with other people. So, yeah. I mean, can, and the telephone. I, I wonder if these casinos have enough money to keep going. I guess they do. You they know? must because they 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 always win. So <laughs> they yeah. must have like a, the, the cash room must have a large pile of it. But you know what's going to be interesting? If we we keep talking about the aftermath. We don't keep talking about now because we know what is now. But yeah. after this is all over, how is Vegas going to fare? Are people suddenly going to go to some place that's that yeah. crowded and that has, you know, that... I think so. I think people will want to just get the hell out of the house once this thing's over. So, yeah, let's go to Vegas. Come on. We were supposed to go there before. We couldn't go. Let's go now. So, yeah. I think it'll recover okay. Yeah, but... You know, we're just going to have to get our, you know, just get our balance back. And so, okay, we're back. We're working again. But so uh... Then you go into a casino, though, where people are shoulder to shoulder, and that's something... You become paranoid about, yeah. You know, well, well, somebody's it's, when it finally ends. If it does, if it's not the end of the world and it kills us all, it'll uh, it'll be safe one day, and somebody will go on TV. It's safe, okay. It's safe. I say it's it's, it's okay. Yeah. And everyone will go back to the casinos. It'll be back to normal. Probably even more back to normal. Probably more people in there. So uh, I, I'm just hoping that. So we'll we'll see. Do you talk to you? Back to do, you talk, do, you, do you talk to any of your comedy pals and ah, see how I talk to people? most of my comedy pals. They're not doing shit either. So yeah. yeah, I mean they they can't find they can't they can't get work. There's Some of them are doing like shows on the computer, you know, in their living room or something. But for me, I need an audience. Didn't you Even do? Didn't people, you do, I'd be, didn't I'm you, not going to do that. So. Didn't you do something with a hand puppet or something? Somebody said they saw. I do the, Tony Bennett's hand. You got to see my videos. They're uh, they're they're all, they're all the rage. <laughs> <laughs> where, 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 Tony Bennett's hand. Where can we find your your your? Uh, uh, go on, uh, you can find them. Uh, go on YouTube and look under Tony Bennett's hand. You'll see about twenty four of them. Oh, really? Oh, okay. They're so, each like a minute long, and uh, they're fun, and it's Tony Bennett's hand, baby. So you've, he talks to you. You've learned how to do Tony Bennett's hand, but we've yet to be able to do you with uh, Skype. <laughs> I, I know how to do Zoom. I did a Zoom interview the other day, and nothing went wrong, believe it or not. So oh, really? I'm learning, little by little. Yeah. I'm computer boy. I'm not good. I tried to upload something yesterday, and I accidentally uh, started a war with Malta. So I got to be careful on this thing. Well, actually, you and I should probably one day I should call you and we should try and get you up on Skype because then they could see you. Because if you can do uh, Zoom, you can do Skype. I mean, Skype's uh -huh. okay. simple enough, you know. Well, with, with Zoom, somebody sent me an email. I just clicked onto something and bam, we were doing the interview. Well, yeah, there, there I, we were in living color. So. We could probably do that. Skype works that way. Uh, yeah, I want to be able to put the Skype, uh, Skype will, app on my phone. We'll see something. Do it, something. It, put Skype. Uh, go go online. Put Skype on your phone. And once you get Skype, okay. uh, do it in the next couple day or so, and I'll call you in a couple of days, and we'll uh, okay. we'll, we'll figure it out so that people can start seeing your wonderful face. My God. Oh my! My wonderful ageless face. I mean, the girl. other the other person I talk to is is uh, is Bubbles, but of course Bubbles will never. 
ever. No, no. It, in the, it, it, it's almost become, it's down to a point now where he won't get into technology because if he did, it would ruin his act. Yeah. You, you know? Right, he still has one of those clam top flip phones. <laughs> Look, it, it, you, you've got cable, right? Oh, basic, yeah. <laughs> it's you, all. Yeah. Do, do you get anything like Netflix or anything like that? No, I got none of that. I got none of that. I get I, I get Dragnet in the morning. I watch Dragnet at five thirty in the morning. Uh, okay, but I, so, I love Lucy after that. I'm, it, I'm a victim of what they want to show me. <laughs> so, so you you have basic cable? Yes. So yes, I do. yeah, but other than that, you don't have any way to like you know watch tons and tons of movies or anything like that. There's got to be some way, but I don't know what it is, and I don't care at the moment. Cause <laughs> if you don't have the attention span to sit through a whole movie, and there's absolutely nothing out now that I want to see, so it doesn't really matter to me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, I'm just old school. I'd rather watch a Leave it to Beaver rerun and not have to think about anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I, we, I'm, I'm getting, you know, I have all this stuff. I have, like, you know, Netflix, and I've got uh, Hulu, and I've got Disney, and I've got uh, uh, all 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 the things you could have, right? Yeah, everything. I'm all getting so those, sick those, of, those. of watching that crap. You know, uh-huh. I'm getting so sick of watching that crap. I've finally just gone to my PBS uh, app, and I'm uh, watching the entire series of baseball, which I that. never watched originally. So. Uh huh. That's good. So I'm you have to watch it. that. Anything like Ken Burns, I could watch or anything like that. But uh, you, you, get, you get sick of everything. You have everything, and you get sick of that. So you know. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and I've got a big enough apartment here that I have the room to move around, and I'm getting to feel cabin fever. I'm really sure. starting Everyone's to get. Getting mad, so I'm starting you to take get a walk around the block or something. Put your mask on. I don't know if I let you do that in New York. But, uh, and you see where you yeah. are. Where you are, you say you can go to the supermarket. You yeah. Know, nobody's wearing yeah. masks. Everybody's kind of you no. Know, there's no lockdown or whatever. Yeah, we, have a, we have a lockdown in New York, and now the governor just passed a thing where he's signing an executive order that if you're out on the street, you better be wearing a mask. Oh, God. Yeah, it's insane. Some guy was dragged off a bus in, in Philadelphia for not wearing a mask. Wouldn't it be funny yeah, if... if the, uh, here's a funny bit. It's a time of coronavirus, and the, he says you got to wear a mask. And now the mm-hmm. Lone Ranger is out there. Uh-huh. But they say, sorry, wrong mask. Oh, God, you got to have a certain mask now. <laughs> you got to have a certain mask. But then I'll look like a bandit. Well, yeah, you know. Yeah, the Cavendish boys, give them all the money. <laughs> the Cavendish boys were socially correct. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Good point. Right. Crazy shit, crazy but, shit. But, you live long enough, you see everything, I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, and, and you know, I mean, I just had this, uh, you know, this uh, this uh, the seed implant for my prostate cancer thing, I was... and, and yeah, well, I mean, it, it, you know, it was fine, and it's, but mm-hmm. I got it just before this thing hit, and I'm lucky I got it because if I had to get it now, I couldn't. Oh yeah, it's all in the timing. So yeah. uh, you did okay. Yeah, so I got uh, you know the only thing I can't get is tested for it, uh, you know, to make Bye. sure everything <laughs> everything was right and you know everything's working and as uh-huh. it should. But you know, uh, I'm. Uh, they said, "Oh, well, we'd like you to come down to the hospital and uh, do a, a CAT scan, a CT scan, just to make sure that all the things are in place and everything." Uh-huh. And they say it's not diagnostic; it's just for our own records. And I'm thinking, I said to him, are you crazy? I'm not going to Mount Sinai. Oh, yeah. It's you're crazy, a, man. It's like a breeding ground for these, <laughs> these things. So. You're a Petri dish. And then they said, well, can you at least go to a, a lab? He said, we can hold off on that for three months. Can you go to a lab and get your blood drawn so we can see what your, what your PSA is? And I thought about it, and I went, Another petri dish, not going over yeah. there either. And they said, "Okay, well, nah, you can hold off." Any doctor, unless you absolutely have to right now. You can hold. I cancel two routine appointments because I don't want to be sitting in an office with people who have this thing. I'm sorry, no. I, 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 I Mount Sinai Hospital. Come on, I'm I, yeah, I'm like not, that. I'm not going within a five mile radius of that place. <laughs> yeah. Where old Jews go to die. No, yeah. thank you. But it, what they, you know, what they did tell me was, no, you, it isn't that we don't have an operating room to do that procedure, and we do. 
We just don't have the mm-hmm. radioactive seeds. They're not available. Exactly. Exactly. And I can't understand why they're not available, but they're not available. So, so we go through right. all this kind of crap, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, it, it's 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 amazing. Um, <laughs> but so you're 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 surviving. Ah, still breathing. Still got the cats. They they keep me from going too crazy. They entertain me. So it's me and the babies just sitting here and uh, going out once in a while for whatever, and then coming back. Yeah. Ladies and Thank gentlemen, you. you know who that is. That's Stephen Pearl. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Good to hear you. Tell him where you're appearing. Well, you can go on YouTube and look up okay. Stephen Pearl and see Tony. The old clips of me. Skinny Pearl, Fat Pearl, everything in between. You Every kind see, of Pearl you could it. ever want. <laughs> Stephen, thank you. Still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Mm, thank you very much, Stephen. Nice, always nice to have the Pearlster uh, with us. Uh, and uh, welcome, uh, welcome to our little program. As we uh, we we're here in New York, as I call it, the most infected city in America, and uh, we're. Uh, we're trying to just get along the best we can. Uh, you know something? Let's take a look at the rest of the world. Let's see here. Okay, here's the rest of the world. Yep. Well, we're over 2 million with this uh, little uh, uh, thing that we got going on here. 2 million, uh, 62,485 in the world. Total deaths, 136,908. This is a pandemic for damn sure. And if you go to the U.S., uh, let's see here. I'm going to do this pretty quickly tonight so you don't have to. I don't want to get you too depressed. Here's the United States. Ready for this? 637,716 with 10,899 of those in my neck of the woods. Okay? Uh, We don't have to look at the rest of the countries. They're, They're... (laughs) <laughs> They're not doing as badly as we are, okay? Let me uh, turn on the uh, Skype here. First, I got to get it going. And uh, then we will, uh, let me see here, let me see here. Uh, let me see here. Um, all right, let me turn it on. Oh, it is on. Okay, because the last person forgot to turn it off. <laughs> that damn sports show. Okay. Let me see here. What do I need to do here? I need to look at a few things. Uh, ba, 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 make sure everything's working, going out okay. Yeah, it's going out all right. Yep. Okay. All right. Do I need a little more light on me tonight? I don't know. Does it look okay? I guess it does. Anyway, let's wait and see if anybody calls me. Uh, uh, we're waiting for people to call. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Uh, I guess nobody is nobody calling. I know we're going out there tonight because I can see that the picture is going out there tonight. Uh, so we're just uh, waiting for people to call. Oh, here we go. Here comes Brian Neary. Boy, three nights in a row for Brian. I, I'm so happy about that because we like Brian. He's smart. Let me see here. Turn on your uh, turn on your camera. There we go. But there's a reason why your camera is blank. Uh, it's like you you you've got to. Let me see here. Uh, Brian, are you there? Ah, oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, now we can. We can go to Brian, and there is Charlie Wallace, and let's see here. Uh, Phil Meyer. Wait, somebody's got their uh, speaker on. Somebody's got their speaker going. Uh, uh, I can hear me briefly in the background there. Uh, uh, Okay, Um, I don't know who it is. I can't figure it out, but we'll uh, we'll worry about that in a second. Hold on a second. Let me get uh, 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 Phil in there. Okay. uh, let's see here. Uh, Jeff Zeller is calling, so I got him here. Let me see here. Put him in fourth place. 
Uh, we go, uh, there we go. And I think that'll be it for him. There we go. There we go. There are the people we got so far. Okay. All right. Okay. We're rolling. Hi. How are you all this evening? Huh? Coronavirus free. Wonderful. You, 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 what? Coronavirus-free. Coronavirus. Well, so far. I mean, wouldn't it be funny yeah. with the kind of work you do, Brian, if all of a sudden you came down with it? So, yeah, you, a funny story is uh, we, we're, we're ramping up. We're, we're running all our machines, even manual machines, 24-7. So we're looking for like 200 uh, associates. <clears throat> so we have a LinkedIn blast, and I'm actually I'm running the the headcount expansion project for this this mm -hmm. period right now. Mm -hmm. And so uh, marketing came to me, Marcom, and they came with the the advertisement for LinkedIn. And there's a lady that's holding the cartridge like this, and it's it's just a normal label. It didn't say coronavirus, and it says uh, operations is hiring. We've only had two people test positive for coronavirus, and the lady who's gowned up. Showing the cartridge was one of them. <laughs> now, explain to the audience once again what it is your company does, because you're essential to... Yeah, infectious disease detection. And not infectious disease getting, it's infectious disease detection. Yes. yes. So we just detect, yeah. We started uh, 2001 after 9-11, uh, with the anthrax scare, we were doing bio threat for anthrax and, uh, Northrop Grumman, we paired up with them. So all the post office, uh, detect for the anthrax and, uh, we're a big part of that. Now anthrax is, anthrax is a pretty old disease. I mean, that goes back centuries, yeah. doesn't it's it? It's a poison, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So what happens is Northrop Grumman has this big machine. It's like a copy, like a size of a copier, mm -hmm. a high volume copier. Yeah. And when the mail goes through, it sort of squeezes the mail a little bit, and it creates like a little air tornado, and we take air samples every half hour. Oh. All the major hubs. Wow. Yeah. Wow. How much, uh, have, you, have you actually ever found anthrax in no, all of that? No. No. And we do, we do very, very good testing on this, and we've done about 14 or 15 million cartridges with no false positives. Yeah. How do you know it works if you haven't found any? Yeah, because we use positive and negative controls off every of every uh, every group, every lot that we build. Mm -hmm. yeah. We really over test our stuff. I, I do the tours for people like John Hopkins University. I do for Stanford. All these really big people that have like all articles read and everything. A lot of quality people, and they really say we over we over test stuff. But we we're very sensitive to that. Now, let me ask you a question. You've been through SARS, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? Yeah. Anthrax? Ebola, uh, Ebola, Zika, everything. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> compared to what we have going on now, which one's the worst? No, this one, number one. Really? Yeah. It may sound bad, but, you know, for our company, you want a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't yeah. know how else, how else to say it, but... Yeah, it's sort of bizarre work. Yeah, oh, it is bizarre work. Uh, but, I mean, uh, this one is, is the worst you've seen, you say. 100%. The, the SARS was very bad. We had just started a new product to do that. And so in September 2009 till January, we had to run like 20, we had to run two 12 hour shifts to mm -hmm. do all this stuff manually because we didn't have machines set up yet. Yeah. So that was, that was pretty bad, but not like this. This is like. Right. This is really, yeah. Charlie? Yeah, I just wanted to mention that right now, coronavirus is the number one cause of death in the United States. None of those other diseases came anywhere close to that. Not oh, yeah. cancer, not... Uh... No, I'm talking about none of the... Not SARS, not... Oh, I see. Okay, not, because I... They I'm... never came close to being the number one cause of death at that time. Time, this what? is the, the number one cause of death by far. But in when, the when, when, today. when you're talking in terms of a of a, a, a disease like this, but we're talking we, we we say how many people die of heart heart attacks every year? I would Not say two thousand people a day. Well, really, this is two thousand people a day die from coronavirus. If you measure it over a year, though, it's not. Uh... Well, that's what I'm saying right now. Oh, well, that that relieves year. me, Phil. It makes me feel real good. Year. You know, I'm at ground zero here. 
You know, I mean, this is now. I mean, there's a reason. There are several reasons why we are we're number one. We're number one is because uh, obviously we're a city with eight million people in it to begin with. That's for starters. Well, the world and it, I, it's, it's I, also I, the Trump. it's also the 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 way we're compacted into this small space. Yes, Bill. I saw a chart that showed the areas uh, of New York City that had the most cases. Now, this was um, at least two weeks ago, but Harlem had the most cases. Yeah, yeah. I would say that's that's true. And I'd say that's because it is hitting black people disproportionately to anyone else. And, of course, who lives in this neighborhood but black people? And, and, and a, a lot of that, a lot of that has to do with obesity. Obesity yeah. is considered the number one. Um, what do they call it? Uh, risk factor. Uh, what? Risk factor. Risk factor. Uh, out there, um, uh, it's it's the number one. Uh, number two is what was the second one? Uh, diabetes. The, huh? Uh, diabetes. Yeah. And so, oh, Phil, yeah. you're a dead man. Yeah. You know, it, it's it's like <laughs> not at all. You yeah. know, hey, ladies, I got it all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you got the trifecta there. Um, but uh, that I, I would have imagined when you said that, Phil, that it would have been it would have been Harlem of all the of all the areas in New York. Um, uh, a couple of other reasons, too. I mean, but basically, I think what did I hear that, that uh, white people amount to 35 percent in new york city and the rest is hispanic and black so you know um uh that's the way it is you know and if i die i'd be another one from harlem so the admiral uh uh, is he the uh surgeon general uh it's a black guy that's a that's a navy admiral uh, I can see it made a statement. I don't know, because the Surgeon General always wears some kind of costume now. Well, yeah, but this guy's a real admiral. You remember where, <laughs> the guy we had with the strange beard? Remember him? Oh, was, uh, yeah, not Bork. What, what's the, uh, no, Bork was not the Surgeon <laughs> General. <laughs> yeah, but it was like like a Bork. Uh, uh, he, wore the, he wore the uniform. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, this guy made a statement, mm-hmm. and uh, it was, you know... Basically saying, "Hey, you know, uh, eat less, don't smoke, uh, mm-hmm. do these things," and it was directed uh, towards uh, African Americans, and uh, he got a lot of pushback on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah, you know, as a minority, uh, you know, for the blacks as a minority, man, it's really powerful to have that a person like that in that position because when he does talk like that. I mean, it can really affect the community. You know, it was really good to hear him talk about that. Yeah. Well, you know, the uh, the black community has a lot, a lot of the risk factors, unfortunately. Uh, and it's a little too late for this guy to get out there and say, hey, brothers and sisters, you know, you got to change your diet. You got to do this about your health. You got to see a doctor more often. Uh uh, am I right, Charlie? But blacks also have a propensity to not wanting to go see doctors. Yeah. Well, yeah, well you can you can imagine why with all the experiments and stuff that have been performed on us. <laughs> yes, I guess. But Black I think I think another trust the medical system. I think another oh, reason sure. is is because of the uh, the uh, the poverty in that community. That makes them not want to go to a doctor because they're afraid of the bill. Yeah, you know, uh, and we have to have a system out there where nobody should be afraid to go to a doctor for fear that he's it's going to drive him broke. That that's all I'm saying. You know, um, um, and I know what you're going to say, Phil. Anybody can. There's a lot of places you can go to get good medicine and so on for free, but they don't think that, and that's not the, that's not the point. They don't think that, and they don't believe that. Uh, hello there, Tony. How you doing? Have you got the virus yet? <laughs> Actually, no. I mean, I'm feeling good. Yeah. But I mean, what you call it? Uh, I haven't really gone out. I went to the post office, mailed some packages out, and I just have my mask on, and I go home then. That's, I don't really do much. Not that I did anything anyway before this, but now it's giving me more of a chance to stay inside. But I mean... I'm actually yeah, but you're scared. inside with your mother for crying out loud. I, 
You got it. And she's crazy, too. You know what she's saying? I mean, <laughs> she wanted to go. I mean, I mean, a good way. She wanted to go. I want to go to the supermarket with you. I says, Ma, you can't go. So you know what she does? When we're shopping, she knows how to use the Alexa. So she says, Alexa, call Anthony. She doesn't call me Tony. So my phone will ring. So we're down the aisles. Don't forget to buy me Fig Newtons. And don't forget the, oh, my God. So well, she's like, well, don't, have you told her this? That you know, Do you have the Alexa app on your phone? I do. But uh, she can call me. She can call the All uh, my, she, all my she has phone. to do is when she wants something, she can just she say, put Fig Newtons on the shopping list. Oh, she would never yeah. understand. And then that. you, that's how we do it. We got this whole shopping <laughs> list. By the time Marjorie winds up going down to the store, she's got a load of stuff to bring back. You know. I got a funny story for you. When mm. I'm in here on the computer, yeah. she doesn't know how to handle. Like she just started to learn how to do the Alexa thing with her voice. Mm. But sometimes she'll just say Alexa. She'll say it fast, and she goes, "You stupid fuck, Alexa!" I says, "Ma." Because she starts cursing at it. You're talking too fast while you have the TV on. We're watching Match Game from 78, and Alexa cannot hear you. you got to mute it. And she, does, she doesn't understand what I'm talking about. you got to say it easy first. Alex. She thinks she's talking to you. The other time, you know what she said? Good night, Alexa. She asks her what time it is. Oh, God. All right. If I go, if I go, Echo, good night. My sister's like, I think you know what I did? Alex? My sister Wait called a minute. and she, I put her. She said yeah. good night to me. And then there's a picture of an owl and a moon. <laughs> she talks to the thing. I mean, she she knows it's not real, but yeah. they, she they had that. What? what? Uh, I was just saying they they had that video when Alexa first came out. That old Italian lady, the so. Italian mother who is arguing with it. <laughs> she, she curses yeah, it out when she doesn't get what so she wants. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Mom, what are you? I sneak in. I says, What are you doing? She's not listening. This fucking thing. I says, The bad word over here. <laughs> and I says, Come on. I says, Well, you're not saying it right. Yeah. First, we got to mute the TV because it's confusing it. Yeah, you know what we watch now in the afternoon match game. You with watch Richard Dawson and then. Oh. Oh. I said, "Mom, most of these people are probably dead." I think he's uh, dead. Rich, Richard yeah, Dawson, Richard right? Dawson is quite somebody killed. Him. Is quite dead. Didn't somebody shoot him? No. Uh, how did he die? He, he died. He got old and he died. And who was the lady? She likes the lady on top. She, I think she was a comedian. She always, they go to Richard Dawson and the other lady on top. Mm -hmm. I forgot her name. Oh, what? The, was the first one, right? Oh, the guy before Richard Dor Dawson Rayburn? was the one that got shot. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Who was he? He was like an English guy. I think he was. No, he wasn't an English guy. It was the guy oh, after Bob Dawson. Crane. Yeah, the Bob guy. Crane. Yeah, that's oh, Bob I Crane. Bob ahead. Crane was never yeah, the Bob host. Of, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Bob Crane was never the host of Family Feud, of Match Game. Richard Dawson was on Hogan's Heroes. But he was the host of one of those <laughs> stupid shows. And Richard Dawson was on Family Feud, who you're yeah, thinking uh, of Matt, is, uh, yeah. what's his name? Gene the Rayburn. Guy? Gene it? Rayburn. Very yes, good. Gene Very Rayburn. good. Yeah. Gene yeah. Rayburn. Yeah. And he got killed. I, you know, no, he didn't get killed. He didn't get killed. Nobody got killed. From Match Game, <laughs> there was killed. a guy who was the second host of Family Feud, Family Feud. who died. Huh? Well, who, uh, yeah. I I don't remember his name. That wasn't Bob Crane. No, no. no. Bob Crane was on Hogan's Heroes. Hogan's Heroes. <laughs> well, he got killed. He got ki he got killed, but that's because his this guy who he was taking lots of porno films with killed him or something. Uh, yeah. Snuff film. You, yeah. you said there was never any snuff films. There's one for you. <laughs> but she's scared though, my mother. That's what I'm saying. I don't. We don't want to take her out because I'm afraid to go out. I, I'm afraid to go out. You know. Um, and and really, the reality is. Tell me if I'm wrong about this, Brian. Because you. you know, <laughs> but if I don't, if I wear a mask and I wear gloves and I go out <clears throat> and I stay a safe distance from other people. I'm not going to get it, right? You should be fine. Should you be might fine. get shot. <laughs> you know, if somebody hit by the bus. The aren't even out. I might get shot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, but hey, still, you know, even with all that protection, I'm. When they say tomorrow everybody can go do whatever, no. I'm chilling for like a week. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, that, yes, that, sir. that is it, that a day is uh, is not going to come. Okay, I it's not it's not going to be like that. Okay. 
you yeah. know, I, I think movie theaters, sporting events, and uh, rest some restaurants and bars, uh, they, they're not going to see me in those for a while. Uh, you know, well, I, I just don't. Uh, I don't think that they I, say I, they I'll, say that if, if if the restaurants open up when they open up, okay. Uh, what's going to happen is, and what's going to be the the uh, the the way in which they're going to do stuff, is that they're going to have to uh, they're going to have to do it uh, in a uh, in, 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 where you come into the place and they actually will take your temperature. Oh my God! Yeah. Rectally. <laughs> We've just been joined, ladies and gentlemen. By Rob Alfano, he's the no, one who if said. If that's the case, I might like to do it rectally. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they'll take your temperature. They get one of those little things they put up to your forehead, and they, you know, they figure it out. And the tables will be further apart, and the menus will be disposable menus. You know, well, oh I already got that the, the last time I went into a restaurant, which was the Harlem Tavern up here, just before they closed everything down. Uh, they said, uh, usually we have uh, the uh, the uh, uh, plastic. plastic menus, but we have paper because when you're through using them, we dispose them of them. So I thought most of the restaurants you went to didn't even have menus. It was what it was, whatever was on the tablecloth. Well, there wasn't even a tablecloth. <laughs> have, is there a joke in there somewhere? Can we? Yeah, should we? Yeah, yeah, there is. We but, wait uh, for it. Geez, yeah, on your, on your back. <laughs> I see. Okay, but yeah. I, I've been grossed out by restaurant menus for a long time. Yeah, I touch these things, and now I'm going to eat. Yeah. Everybody's grubby paws are all over them. Everybody's you, I used to hate those soda fountains when they used to be in school. Well, let's see one. here. What a, th what a thing. You know, people think that bathrooms are dirty. <laughs> bathrooms yeah. are probably cleaner than yeah. a lot of things. You know what's dirtier in a bathroom than the, than the toilet? The, the sink. sink. No, the handle to the door. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. You know, Tony mentioned uh, a soda yeah. fountains. When my dad was growing up, he never got ice in his drinks, and I asked him why. He says because when you went to the soda fountain, the, the soda jerk would say, you want ice? And mm. if you said yes, he would go like this and then reach in and grab <laughs> oh. the ice. <laughs> they say that those ice machines are loaded with bacteria. Yeah, yeah I, that skews me out. <laughs> Nice. But I mean, what else I hear? I hear your iPhone is loaded with bacteria. Oh, it's unbelievable. Oh, yeah. You take it everywhere you go. And then you yeah. put it right up to your mouth when you talk to it. Mm -hmm. you know. Down on surfaces. Yeah. 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 We're gross. Human, we, we're all gross. Yeah. We, we don't deserve to live. Myself. Okay. Yes, Jeff. I, mean, I have a, a cleaner that's that you put your cell phone in there. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Like a, a light, one of those. Uh, like a light. Yeah, yeah, blue light. Yeah. What do they call those? Probably UV. Ultraviolet. Yeah. yeah. Ultraviolet. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and I have we have we have, suddenly I realized we had disinfectant in the house because I've got this uh, Mister Clean for cleaning stuff, but it's also it says bacterial, uh, antibacterial, so it it's got all that stuff in there. Uh, you know. I'm 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 good and sterile, you know. So, you you know, I at my store I have something we call the Healthier Living installation, and we use this stuff called Healthinex, which uh, is used by hospitals to clean uh, floors in hospitals, and it even kills E. coli bacteria. So we vacuum uh, the subfloor after we pull up the old materials, and then we spray it with the Healthinex, and then we put the uh, the materials down. Well, that's nice. That's very nice of you. At, at no extra charge? No, I don't charge extra. It cost me $29 for each of those bottles, and the bottle uh, covers about 1,800 square feet. But you know, yeah. it's not the most expensive thing, but I felt that it set me apart from uh, other stores that don't, don't do it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I don't know. We're all, we're, this is going to kill all of us. So you're gonna, we're we're going to be – pretty soon we're going to be foraging in the streets, you know? I just got on the phone with a friend of mine who was telling me that he's he's concerned. He lives out in Ridge, Long Island, far mm -hmm. away, but mm -hmm. like, you know, an isolated little community out in Suffolk County. Yeah. And he said, you know, this thing, what scares me about this is people don't go back to work. People are going to get desperate and they're going to start breaking in people's homes for food. And, you know, he said society's just going to break down. Well, we're starting. We're going to be running out of food. 
because the latest thing, I, uh, folks, if you're listening to us tonight, uh, you know, this is a happy place to be. Uh, <laughs> we're, 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 we're running, and we have a lot of viewers tonight, uh, so I just wanted to press every last one of you. We're, they say we're, we're in, in fear of actually running out of food. Well, uh, because, uh, because we had this pork plant go bad in uh, wherever, oh, yeah. so and I'm that a it. lot of the places are starting to have problems, and uh, there are a lot of drivers who aren't driving trucks, and uh, I don't know if you've been to a store recently. I haven't, but Marjorie says, boy, those shelves look empty. My yeah. fasting is uh, paying off. Yeah, it is. Mm. Well, for some reason, I'm gaining weight because I'm not exercising, okay? And and plus, I'm eating every last thing that's in the house <laughs> because uh, I'm eating all the bad stuff because we aren't able to lay our hands on the good stuff. I mean, if I could go out and buy a flat of steaks every week from Costco so I could go on my all-carbohydrate diet... But no, all there is is pasta and pasta sauce. So, you know. Omaha steaks or something that delivers. Hey, uh, Friday. Oh yeah, you know, I bet if I, I bet if I tried to order from Omaha steaks, they would yeah. say they'll be delivering in the middle of May. Yeah. Did you have any luck with Instacart? With Instacart, yeah, they're coming Saturday. Saturday. Just about a week from the time I ordered. Wow. And it's uh, everything will it, go bad by then. It, 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 it's pretty. <laughs> In it's California. You no, know, Emmett, it's pretty expensive, by the way. Because, is, it, is it really? Well, here's what I ordered from Costco, okay? Blue Hill Bay Smoked Salmon, okay? Uh, Kirkland Signature, uh, well, it's, uh, it's uh, 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 for, uh, uh, it's like, um, what, what's that? I'm trying to, uh, it's a false, it's, it's a drug, okay? Uh, Nature Made uh, Magnesium Citrate. Clorox 2 Max Performance Laundry, laundry Stain Remover, uh, Kirkland Signature Dishwasher Packs, Jarlsberg Semi-Soft Part Skim Cheese, two cases of Coke Zero, two cases of Diet Snapple, uh, a Kirkland Rotisserie Chicken. You got to do the rotisserie chicken, right, oh, yeah. if you're going to Costco. <laughs> Utz Pork Rind Barrel, Kirkland Signature Shelled Pistachios, and Kirkland Signature Free and Clear uh, Washing Liquid. Okay, folks, how much do you think that comes to? With the, $280. With the, $281. <laughs> you think? Actually, actually, Phil is closer. $276. But of that, wow. only... only Two hundred and thirty twenty-three dollars of that is the actual item subtotal. The delivery fee is ten ninety-nine. The sales tax five twenty-three. The tip, because I'm giving them a ten percent tip, is twenty-two thirty-four. The service fee is eleven seventeen, and the bottle deposit recovery fee is three fifty, and that brings it up to two hundred and seventy-six dollars. It's cheaper than taking a cab. What do, you, what do you mean it's cheaper than taking it's a cab? 50, 50 bucks round trip for you, and you and you got to schlep it to the store. It cost me 20 bucks for a cab both ways. Yeah. Each, uh, 20, 20, 10 each way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey, yeah. It, it, Friday's going to be fill free because California has closed down all the gun stores. They said that they're um, uh, not essential. Bars are essential, but uh, and not bars. Uh, uh, so what are you going to do? Shoot yourself? What? I'm going to Grass Valley. I don't know if you know where that is. It's almost all the way up to Tahoe. And uh, 10 of us are going to this place that manufactures it. And we're buying, I'm, I'm buying 3,000 rounds of ammo. Uh, You're because not going anywhere right now. Can't get it. You can't get it anywhere. So yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get like a... After the lockdown. <laughs> yeah. And so after all the food runs out, your girlfriend's gonna say to you, "So what How food do we? What do we cost? have in the house we can eat?" And you say, 3,000 rounds of bullets." Yeah. yeah. How much does that cost? Dollars a thousand at this place, but I've been paying a lot more than that uh, and buying very small quantities wherever I could get it because it's just not available anywhere. By the way, don't try to find Grass Valley. 
How is that? Well, because I've been to Grass Valley, and every time yeah. I've been there, anytime you try and find a sign saying Grass Valley, it's impossible to find because somebody has crossed out the G and the R. <laughs> 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 Every time I hear Grass Valley, I think of the switchers because I used to work in television and all all the oh, good Grass switchers Valley fun, switchers. Grass Valley switchers. You know something? I think they actually made them there. Yes, they did. Yeah, <clears throat> Grass Valley, California. Mm -hmm. They made them all up there too. So, yeah. so, so go Auburn and go north. So you can't go during the day and come back for the show. Not that we want you here. It's three but hours each way. For bullets? Are you going to drive six hours? Trip. You're, you you're driving that far for bullets, Phil? Yeah. I, I can't shoot on Sundays if I don't have bullets. You're out of bullets? Yeah, well, yeah. I got to go 200, but, you know. Uh, but I've, I've been dr going down to San Jose, and a friend of mine uh, goes to this gun store in San Jose where the guy will sell him, even though he's closed, and then I... And then I just reimburse them. I remember, but, I remember what uh, Elmer Fudd once saying, "No more bullets, bullets." Yeah, bullets. yeah. I don't have any more bullets. Uh, yeah, you know, so it's uh, it's yeah. going to be tough. Yeah, uh, I don't yeah. know. I don't. No, it's going to be very. Back. It's going to be very easy on us, Phil. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You can't buy bullets on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got. An, I'm, I'm going to say what he my says, father always used to say. Where are you going? And you, I would say Grass Valley, and he would say, "When are you going?" And I'm saying Friday, and he'd say, "Why can't you go now?" Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, you know, there's going to be ten of us going up, and we have one hour to make our purchases. You have to register. Uh, you know, hey, wait, uh, wait, 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 what, what is Bree doing? Because, Bree, when you move the camera like that, it distracts from the discussion. It really does. There we go. Okay. You going in the same car? Are you going in the van together? No, I, I, my car is so comfortable. I'd rather drive up, you know, by myself. I mean, if somebody wants to go with me, uh, I, I'll take somebody. But uh, for the most part, they were going to take a couple of cars. And my seats are just the most comfortable seats. And I'd rather actually sit in the seat in my car than anywhere else. Mm -hmm. ah. you know, yeah, I got the urban seats, and uh, uh, so yeah, we I'm just we will drive up eight in the morning, and uh, then we have one hour. That means that each guy's got six minutes to make his purchase, mm -hmm. uh, and then we got to get out of there. Oh, really? Oh, okay, and, and so you said that if it was okay, you'd bring another guy in the car with yeah. you, yeah, there we okay. Go. You know, uh, uh, my my buddy Steve had the uh, had the test because he works for um, he does uh, high security work for um, mm -hmm. well, what's his name that owns uh, 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 Oracle, uh, Larry. Uh, oh, that asshole. Yeah. Well, anyway, uh, he he's on his protective thing. He goes all over the world with them uh, doing. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we're very impressed by him. Now, uh, uh, you on the test. Huh? Yeah. How do you? How do you? It, I, 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 so when? When did he have the test? Last week. Oh, okay. How do you know he hasn't met up with somebody since then who's got the virus and gave it to him? I don't know. He went to India uh, like a oh. week and a half. Ago. Oh well, you know. No huh? problem. Huh? Well, came back. They gave him the test. Then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, how do you know where he's been since then? Well, he's been you know, this whole idea of, t and, and, and tell me if I'm wrong when I say this, Brian, I, I'll defer to you on this, but just because somebody took a test last week doesn't mean he doesn't have it this week, right? Of course. Of course. Well, you know, you take your shot. You know. No, you well, don't. Why, why is he using up the test then? You got people sick of the test. Uh, he's using up the test because he's he goes close to uh, you know Ellison and all these other people and uh, and it's uh, and it's the government that actually uh, that actually says that he has to uh, you know well, not <clears throat> even, it, that group has to travel. The government. Around. He uh, Ellison isn't a member of the government. Oh, but it's uh, the. Um, uh, is he? Is he? I've got one percenters. Agency uh, deals with that kind of stuff, you know, uh, high profile uh, security. Yeah. Like Charlie said. <laughs> What's that? Yeah. Charlie said one percent. One percent. Yeah. No, okay. 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 Enough. Government. Enough of knowing about your impressive friends. Uh, how are you doing, Patrick? Um, I'm alive. <laughs> yeah. 
Good deal. Usually he says just peachy, but you're, you didn't say yeah. just peachy today. Well, I, I, oh. had a, I, I had a doctor appointment, so um, I had to go to the clinic, mm-hmm. and there um, they met you at the doors, and they took your temperature right yeah. there. Oh, uh, wow. You had to wear your own mask, or they supplied you with one. Well, I've got my own, and um, one, I hate wearing jacket, which I think everybody here knows. I hate long sleeves, yeah. and I hate wearing fucking mask. I found that out. Yeah. So I would rather go without and uh, let let whatever the hell get me and kill me on the street. So fog your glasses, those masks. Well, what kind so, of what, what kind of mask did they give you? Well, I I got a cloth mask. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, because everybody thinks uh, again. I'm gonna I, I I'll ask Brian this. The N95s are very good, but <clears throat> the cloth mask, the surgical masks are fine, right? Yeah, yeah. And they, there's an interesting test that they have, like on YouTube. They have uh, the mask, and then they light a lighter, and mm-hmm. then they blow. And it, even just those regular disposable ones. And we found actually at our company that the ones that we did, you could actually blow through that and it'll blow out the candle or the, the lighter. But then there are other masks that look just like those disposables, but they're blue. And those you blow and it won't blow that out. Oh, really? So, uh, the, the mask is just for your, yeah, the mask is just for your, you know, for your not spitting out, you know, any, yeah. any particles. Yeah. yeah. Any other sputum. Yeah. So I don't know. Which one did they have you wear? Did they have you wear the N95s, which are the ones? I wore my own, which, which huh. is a cloth mask. Uh, a surgical. But, yeah. And uh, to be honest with you, the parking lot was loaded on both sides of the building, which are where the staff park. And in the, regu- the regular parking lot, uh, if there were a dozen cars there, that's a lot. I didn't see one other patient in the building yeah. when I was in there. So, and that was at eleven o'clock this morning. Now, is this a hospital or is this a doctor's office? It's a it's a clinic. There's yeah, an okay. urgent care, and then there's a number of doctors' offices. So it, it's a fairly large building, but there's no surgical suites or anything. Oh, really? Did they have a coughing and no coughing line? <laughs> well, you know, it's funny because they had. The stripes outside the building for yeah. distancing too, and I, like I said, there was nobody there, so I was happy for that. They uh, stabbed me, and then I left. So yeah, okay, yeah. Well, they 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 had a thing today on uh, uh, on uh, uh, from Mount Sinai that I got, and it says here. Uh, while Mount Sinai hospitals and physicians are prior, prior, prioritizing uh, ur- urgent patients with diagnosis for COVID, we're still open for patients seeking medical care and services. If you're visiting Mount Sinai for an appointment or service, you can rest assured that our facilities are safe. Raise your hand if you believe that. <laughs> Well, I, I would I would believe it if I needed something done, but if I wouldn't, I you know I mean it, it's a matter of need. That that's like where I went today. I had to get my blood tested because I'm on blood thinners. There's no way that I can put that off for so. Yeah, you know, yeah and right, right. So right. Went, I said, well, I I got a chance it. And I didn't like the idea of being in a medical building because that's where you get sick. Yeah. I mean, well, that's I where the MRSA, sick people are. You know. <clears throat> yeah. I got MRSA one year, so. Yeah. Well, I, <clears throat> I, um, um, what? Who, who was saying something? Was there somebody saying something? Huh? Oh, okay. I, I was coughing, and then I heard somebody say something. Um, the um. Uh, uh, you know, they like I was supposed to go in and get a CT scan, and I had to get the blood drawn for the whole thing after the operation. And I'm going, I don't need to do that yet. Uh, they told me I could wait three months for the CT scan, and I can get the blood test. But she said it's been about three weeks or so. Screw you! It's going to be about three months for that one too. I am not going anywhere near a testing lab, you know, uh, for this. Uh, Plus the I'm fact that, 
Plus, in fact, what are they going to tell me? Well, your cancer has progressed to the next stage. So there's nothing they can do about it. They've already done everything they can do. I so. heard you could go down to that lab across the street from Mount Sinai uh, in the park, and there's no copay, Alex, you know, and you get your tests over there uh, in the tent. You mean in the Franklin Graham, I hate homosexuals? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised this, I'm surprised this, to begin with, it's not a lot of beds, okay? And mm -hmm. I am just surprised that they are not um, um, uh, throwing them out of there. Uh, they yeah. almost they almost lost them. The other day we had a big windstorm here in New York, and it almost blew them down. So. I mean, that's terrible. Uh, I thought the city was called. Cool. What? I thought the city, uh, de Blasio, uh, asked them to No, come. no. He just inflicts himself anywhere there's misery. Uh -huh. yeah, Franklin <laughs> Graham, yeah. And he has these little tents, and it says, you know, Samaritan's Purse, and they got some beds in there, and they got some doctors who have sworn they hate homosexuals, you know, that they disavow any kind of love of homosexuality. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, screw them. We got enough beds over at Mount Sinai. We don't need them. Okay, yeah. but yeah. you get to pay the copay, you know. It, it, it really? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, how are you doing down there in uh, in the, where you live? Uh, which what Hollister is it, uh, Kevin? Yeah, it's uh, pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Yep, pretty quiet. Not a lot. We got of one more case, and yeah, that's it. We got six that are active, and that's it. What's you live in the earthquake capital of the world. Yep. Yeah. What's happening is that the. The um, the places that you know, like our president said, oh, there are lots of places in this country that don't have any uh, COVID problems or very few, and those are now starting to get them. You know, they're yeah. starting to they're starting to ramp up. Isn't that kind of where that uh, pork plant is? It's not in the middle of a metropolitan area. No. Mm -mm. So oh, that field thing. Yeah. Yeah. Now, was Smithfield the was the was the plant that was sold to the Chinese? No, uh, there there was one of the, a ham plant. Uh, by the way, by the way, uh, I I don't want to burst your bubble, Phil. Yeah, but I'm sure but, you don't. But really, <laughs> do you know where most of the cases of COVID have come from in the United States? New York. No, I mean where they've come from you, outside it, of the United States. The East Coast of the United States. No. Got, their cases from Europe, yeah. as well as the rest of the country. Well, it's the West Coast. Which China, is after after how, how many how many Chinese do you think were allowed to come into this country after uh, uh, what's his name, Governor Trump, Emperor Trump, um, uh, decided to put a ban on people coming in from China? How many do you think came in? Uh, mostly it was American, uh, uh, Chinese with American, uh, uh, no, uh, no, 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 citizenship. no, no. How many do you think, Phil? Uh, I think it's quite yeah. a number uh, of them. Uh, 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 Charlie, five, Charlie, it, Charlie got it absolutely right. 40,000. Oh, okay. 40,000. That's, that's a lot. Including my wife's boss who came in from Hong Kong. Yeah. Yeah. So so really he didn't really do it. This ban wasn't all that effective. So the one good thing he did do wasn't all that good? No, you can't stop Americans or people that have a right to be here. No, no, this wasn't forty thousand people who have a right to be here. This was forty five people traveling here from China who are of Chinese origin. Forty five or forty thousand. All right. Well, if the wall was built, then they wouldn't have had a problem. They couldn't, they couldn't have gotten over it. Uh, there is Not a wall. Over. By the way, if you've ever been to the beach in San Francisco, there is a wall. You know. <laughs> yeah, seawall. A seawall. Yeah, there is one. Mm -hmm. But no, I mean, uh, the whole notion that, uh, that that helped us at all, forget it. I, I think it could have been worse if, uh, you know, with all of the people that were coming down with the virus in China, if they were allowed to fly here and get away from China. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Phil, now let's not talk about science fiction, okay? That's yeah. science fiction. Gee, if all the Chinese people could come here, then we'd have a problem. We'd also have overcrowding. 
Yeah. Well, you know, hey, you knew that there was a virus killing people in your hometown of Wuhan. And you could get, and you could afford to get on a plane and come to San Francisco uh, and get away from it. Would you do it? I think you would. Well, uh, apparently, apparently, most of the most of the COVID virus that is in this country, they are able to. What is it, Brian? Is there some way they can figure out where it came from? Right? There's a there testing and so on where they can trace it. It was two different strains. No, no, they traced it. They traced basically Europe, and they they said that the you know, the, the 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 virus itself may have started in Europe. As a matter of fact, and you know fact. why? Because uh, first of all, no, uh, Phil, um, I, uh, the Chinese have a lot of uh, business interests in Italy, where you had uh, the biggest uh, outbreak. Oh. And uh, there, there was also Fashion Week and uh, it's amazing, a number Phil. of other things. You're so smart. I don't know why I'm doing this show. You should be doing <laughs> it. Uh, you know, yeah, it was, it was a... They went to wait, Europe. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Kevin, <laughs> hold on, Phil. Yes, Kevin. It was a, it was a stain on one of the dresses. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you know, that, that's, that's why there was a lot of travel from oh. China to Europe. Uh, and that's why uh, the, it spread there and then came over here because uh, they didn't close down Europe as soon as they closed down China. Do you know who closed down China? Yeah, Trump. China. Uh, 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 yeah. You may remember, do you remember what they did to Wuhan? They, no, but you, they You couldn't get but... in or out of Wuhan. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I know that they locked down Wuhan, but they locked it down... Uh, weeks after, they didn't tell us what they knew. No, Matt, they, they Phil, American Phil, reports. Phil, Phil, they knew on the 17th of January, they told the world what had happened, and it had only happened seven days earlier. But they threw out American reporters, you, you, and they, they couldn't get in there, they couldn't report, uh, they, they threw out a whole bunch of Phil, people. if you and, know that there's a hot area, are you going to let people into that area? They arrested the a doctor that exposed the uh, the thing, and I think he's dead now. But uh, you know, they were they were arresting the whistleblower doctor okay, in, in China. I, you know, you're nonsense. Okay, so they you, threw you, they threw the reporters out. That's fine right. because Trump would have called it fake news anyway. Yeah. Well, you know, so, and then uh, we they wouldn't let our investigators go in to see what was going on. Yeah. Okay, and, Phil. Okay, Phil. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah you that. could say well, okay, Phil. Yeah, no, okay, <laughs> Phil. No, really. I mean, I you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, you you're, the, you're the smartest guy in the room. We admit it. We all bow to your intelligence. And yes. uh, and and I'm. I'm so my sword. What? Oh, here I'll do it again. Come feel the bite of my sword. <laughs> Just the bite of my sword. <laughs> hmm. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, okay. So you, you don't want to hear what I have to say just because I happen to hear the news that's the real news and not oh, the fake news. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> and I happen to think... Ah, most poop. Okay? All right. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. Anyway. Um, so let's, uh, let's check in with the various people that are on this panel about your neck of the woods. How about your neck of the woods, Bree? What's happening there? Uh, I noticed when you showed out your window, nothing was happening in your neck of the woods. Actually, you, you could have seen the breaking of the rules because there were workers out there who were working for the neighbors to do their household stuff. There. And the, technically, they're not allowed to do that, but they don't, they don't follow the rules here exactly. We, we're well, they don't a, do that uh, here either. Yeah, yeah, we we are a gated uh, community. We have our own uh, security, mm -hmm. so the police don't come in. So pretty much, people do what they want inside here. They have parties, yeah. they, jogging yeah. around, dog walking. You're not supposed to do any of that. But uh, it outside of here, I haven't been out for I think two weeks. Um, you know, uh, but uh, but the the video I get and the the firsthand remarks are it's kind of like sunday morning every, every day you know where it's just Do you know it's gotten to the point where i can't even remember what day it is anymore yeah 
Uh, I'm still working. I know what day it is. Uh, uh, you I, do I, know you, you, because you've got a job and you got to do it. Marjorie, right. same way. She's got that. But then the other day she said to me, what day is it? We have this big clock in our bedroom, this big light up clock that says the day of the week. And she didn't even look over to see what day of the week it was. You know, I had no payroll, I, so I know I what to tell you. Uh, <laughs> different people are reacting differently. I, it's so hard to fathom, you know, like uh, at, at my work, they, they basically told us, and it's funny, you know, they give you bits and pieces of information and, you, and you're left to decide what to make of it. Yeah. But like we had a meeting this morning and one guy in another department is like, oh, yeah, we're paying the same rate for our, you know, the guests come in. And, and we were all debating like, well, they don't have to actually come in. They're just online. Why are we paying them? And and so he's still paying the same thing like, oh, yeah, we're just paying. And I'm thinking, I don't even know if I'm going to be having to take a pay cut. Like uh, they tell us, you know, that they, they could be losing 12 million this year. This is their projection. And. Our budgets could flatline. We gotta we gotta trim down and cut down. And so I'm thinking, prepare for the worst. Mm. You know, expect the best and maybe meet somewhere in between. But other people are just like, oh yeah, well we're mm. putting our budget in and get we're we're funding requests and and then at the end at one meeting it was like, do we do we have uh, can uh, can some of the colleagues uh, you know buy uh, laptops for the online stuff? And it's like, no. I mean, the only amount they've approved is like an adapter for thirty five bucks you know and so some people are living in a different world like they don't understand that there's major economic collapse occurring <laughs> you know and i guess if you know i'm still at work so i'm still doing my job but at least i'm cognizant that there are people who have been laid off people who don't have jobs people who don't have an income but some people are just totally oblivious to this what do you, you think know? what uh, what what do you think uh uh for instance rob that the, how the economy is going to fare from this. Do you think we're going to recover from it anytime soon? Yeah, really, it's too early to tell because you don't really know what they're going to be able, how quickly they're going to be able to get things rolling. You know, I think we really need to see. We heard what they said. We heard what, uh, you know, the governor of California said today about how they're going to plan to bring the economy back. We're hearing a little bit from New York and how they're going to do it. And it, it, they said it, none of it can be done. See some of that stuff, yeah. it's really hard. You just they said none of it can be done with the air none of it can it. be done without testing. Right, absolutely. Well, and and right. businessmen had to tell Trump that today. You know, there was a big banner on CNN saying, "Businessman, tell Trump you really can't open the economy till we have testing." Like, that's like. That's common sense. You don't have a you don't, you don't have a good uh, a good reading on. Um, you know how are you going to do this? Are you going to put everybody in those suits? Is everybody going to wear a face shield? Yeah. And a, like a space suit kind of thing, like you see in the OR. And I'm talking about I'm not talking about me because I can get in my car and drive someplace, go to work. I don't have to get into a crowded elevator or a crowded train car, or you know what I mean. And it's. What are you going to do? Put three people in an elevator and send them up to the thirtieth floor of a high well, school? Well, also, what are you going to do? Are you going to say uh, Trump kind of lived in this uh, never, never land that he was going to say, "Oh, Easter, on Easter, we're going to turn every, we're going to turn the switch back on." He's trying to be a cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you Just know, like that's his normal uh, and, personality and then, to be a cheerleader. And, and now it was May first. We're not going to meet that. No. Uh, the answer is that I don't. I I think whatever happens is going to happen so slowly, you know. Until we, I'll tell you, the only time we're going to see life get back to normal is the day a vaccination comes out. Yeah, or some sort of medical treatment. Yeah, yeah. 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 A, a, a therapeutic treatment would do the trick. Yes, but a vaccination. And I think uh, this is your bailiwick uh, again, Brian. That would do it, right? Yeah, the, I mean, the, Cuomo talks about you know the three T's, right? So testing, trace, traceability of people, mm -hmm. and then the treatment. Yeah. I definitely think the treatment is the, one of the biggest ones, depending on how long. But you hear some, you know, some are saying, you know, it's going to be a few more months, and some are saying eighteen months, and. So I, I don't know how that's going, but that I think those the three T's like they talk about are the really important things. Yes, uh, and, and the and the, the testing, 
everything they talk about testing ramping up is is true. I mean, we got a really good uh, bump from uh, the guy. There's one guy on, on CNBC, and he actually talked about the testing reliability. And actually, he mentioned our company and said our company is the most reliable. Mm -hmm. But you're start talking about ramping up, and like you guys mm -hmm. have heard the numbers from me. I mean, when we multiply that out, you know, they they everybody wants to test. It's not just the sick people, and there's no yeah. way we yeah. can't with Abbott Labs with Roche. We can't keep up. Jeff. Jeff. Microphone. Microphone. I got it. Yeah. Um, I'm curious as to what you said, because uh, Brian, I I understand everybody said okay if you got injection, which is a pretty effective way of attaching a, uh, a change, okay? But can't you do that equally by drinking something or eating something? Or, uh, you don't have to be injected to, to solve it. The treatment? Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I assume so. But, uh, you know, they get in the bloodstream right away and 100% reliability of those. I things. know. Remember the sugar cubes when we were kids with a little pink dot on it? No, we used that to go was, to the school that, and get yeah. the sugar cubes. That was the that was the uh, that was the polio vaccine. Yeah, yeah but oh, no, no, I don't think that was. Polio. Yes, it was. The polio vaccine was a shot, and then you had Sabin who came along and put it on the sugar cube, okay. and kids yeah. could just eat the sugar cube, and they didn't have to go in there and go don't shoot. And, uh, uh, and while uh, Salk solved the problem. Sabin make it made it easy to use and made it so kids wouldn't mind doing it. You know, I remember uh, lining up with my mother at uh, the high school and uh, going in and getting this little sugar cube. I remember it to this yeah. day. It was a blue dot of something on the sugar cube, and I just uh, ate it. And yeah. hey, no more polio, kids. You know, well, we need the equivalent of that now. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, but we don't. But short of that, I think if one of these therapies maybe shows to be decent, you know, um, uh, we could uh, we could perhaps at least uh, get some kind of way that if you come down with it, you know, they can minimize it. Um, but uh, well, we don't even have an injection. Well, we don't have an injection, but what we're what we're looking at is uh, and what they're hoping for is that, for instance, like that Ebola drug, that maybe it'll work. But we don't know, you know. Yes, it, the thing like Trump was talking about that drug, whatever it was, it was yeah. Covacier. I don't know what. Uh, what? Hydroxychloroquine. Uh, Trumpothene. Trumpothene. Um, that. Uh, has worked a couple of times, but then in other cases it hasn't worked at all. So I heard today they disproved it. They've disproved it. Yeah. 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 But there's that Ebola drug they think shows some promise, you know. And I'm saying, wouldn't it be funny if we found out it was Robitussin? <laughs> I got it. <laughs> Ma, just take it. Got none to lose. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Take some Robitussin. Tastes good. Um, we'll play uh, you want. <laughs> big vapor rub. Uh, yeah. uh, let's see here. Uh, who haven't we asked how stuff is in their neighborhood? Well, how is everything oh, in your neighborhood, to... Jeff? I mean, is it? Uh... Yeah, I wanted to tell you a couple of things. Yeah. Because today I actually got in a car and took a ride. Yeah. I didn't go anywhere. Okay, I never got out of the car. But I, I just wanted to drive around a little bit. Well, you, I envy you because you can do that. No, you know, there's no way you're going to catch it being in your car, provided you know you don't pick up hitchhikers. You know, <laughs> so. Um, so anyway, I, I went by a couple of these uh, plastic uh, manufacturers in the area, and mm -hmm. I kind of drive by them. I know where they are. Yeah. And they're working. Now they do a lot of medical devices. So maybe there's a, a real demand for mm -hmm. what they're doing, but they had a lot of people in the office and they're working. I mean, you could tell them, and it's a factory, really. The question is, you know, the the point is that you know, there's we know there's not going to be an on-off switch. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen gradually. Uh, it's going to happen where you might say, 
Okay, well, you can go to restaurants, but they can't seat more than this many people, and they have to check your temperature when you come in, and they have to have disposable menus, and 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 everybody has to wear a mask. I don't know how you eat with the mask on, but you know everybody has to wear. Maybe we can invent new masks with a hole in them or something. I don't know, but uh, uh, all these various things uh, will ramp up very slowly. But if tomorrow they just simply went, okay, it's okay to go outside now. It's go go tongue kiss everybody, you know. It doesn't matter, you know. Go lick the sidewalk. Uh, I, I think, I think everybody would be a little hesitant to do it. I mean, I don't think if, if, if we're going to know exactly how to be social again comfortably. I don't know if we'll feel comfortable going to a football game, or 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 going to a movie theater. Um, I think I don't feel that way yes, now. Kevin. I mean, I didn't feel that way yeah. before. Kevin, did anybody see what went on in Lansing today, Michigan? N yeah. No. Pro oh yes, the protest. The people who yeah. don't don't yeah. want to stay that was kind inside. Of bizarre. Yeah. Well, okay. Then everybody in Lansing, Michigan, can die. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of bizarre. I mean, I I know that she came down pretty hard. I mean, she's kind of overdone it. I guess I don't know. She said that. Uh, been there, she right? wasn't letting anybody out for paint or plants or anything, which I kind of understand, but I don't understand. These people were all pissed off, but it was freaking snowing out. Why would you want to go plant shit in the snow? I don't know, but these people were pretty pissed off. They were clogging up all the streets with trucks and shit, and then, and then they were all conglomerating in front of the Capitol. Uh, in the snow and the rain. I saw this one yeah. reporter who had his mask. Spitting all over each other. And, yeah, you know, well, it was pretty it was, bizarre. This guy had this mask on. The, the, the reporter had his mask on. And this guy comes right up next to him. I mean, this close to him and goes, Yeah! You know, yeah, they were all talking side. to each other in the street you know, and everything. And, and I'm, I'm going, I'm, I'm, Makes photo no photo. sense. Yeah. You, you, and the guy's going, oh, I can't even buy my a can of paint, you know, but I and I can't buy a flag, you know, but the abortion <laughs> clinic's open. What? <laughs> uh, you know? yes. uh, they arrested 15 uh, people in a synagogue uh, uh, because they're not allowing, they, they said that synagogues and churches and so forth are uh, not, uh, uh, you know, essential, but liquor stores are. Between you and me, they never are. But, you know, yeah. uh, well. Uh, you know, it's just that uh, now they're saying it's a it's a uh, it's a constitutional issue that they're not being allowed to pray and you know it's not a constitutional pray. issue. It, it you know it it, 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 right. it you know nobody's stopping you from praying. Go home, get down on your hands and knees and pray. And mean, while you're at it, kiss your ass goodbye. No, the Jews. Yeah. My mom's really yeah. religious, and she watches church every Sunday at eight thirty on channel whatever, and she watches a damn church every eight thirty, and she's about as religious as you can get, and she's you know, she Joel puts Osteen. herself up to the church, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. You you seem rather pensive there, Rob. Were you thinking about something? No, I'm just while I'm listening, I'm just doing a little bit of work here. That's all. What work are you doing? It's not a very exciting topic. I'm I'm going through the music in my library and changing the, the categories from <laughs> changing the, the music categories around for my radio station. Boy, this thing is really getting to you, isn't it? <laughs> you get close to going on the air. I don't really have a, a format, so I'm now that I got that, I'm trying to tighten it up. Do your radio station have call letters? Huh? Do you have call letters? No, it's gonna be called Retro Rocks. Uh, and uh, Jeff is trying to. Yeah. I think what what he's doing today yeah. is probably more of what I did yesterday. Uh, really? Boring around here. I am finally started watching. I never watched Ken Burns' baseball. Oh. And I've started watching baseball. You know. Uh, because it's funny about me. I don't play baseball. I don't follow baseball. I don't listen to baseball, but I love the history of baseball. You know, I love what it represents to America. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh huh. Yep. Go, Ace. I was listening to a Go Yankees. Uh, 
this uh, National Geographic photographer went and did a uh, story on baseball in Cuba, and it seems that baseball is 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 a very very big thing in Cuba. Yeah, it always yeah. has been. Yeah. Now, yeah. Did yeah. you see they're playing baseball in Taiwan? Yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah. They don't have any cases. They're putting dummies cases. in the in the uh, in the, in, in the seats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> fake fake people. But, but by the yeah. way, by the way, you're you're you're, 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 you're you're a big baseball fan. The, uh, uh, Elephant Brothers. But, but, uh, uh, Rob's a big baseball fan. Yeah. Uh, your team is uh, what the Yankees. The Yankees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there is no baseball this year, right? Yeah. Not yet. Far. Not yet. Oh, yeah, we're coming up. No, That's they should have started on this. No, the season, season would have been well in. They're well. talking about doing it in Arizona. Yeah, they're talking about having and, uh, the Arizona Florida, League yeah. and, the, and the Florida League, the Citrus against the Cactus League. Yep. Uh, is that I've noticed the, Arizona the, doesn't the, have very many cases. Uh, that, that's not the uh, uh, the the big leagues like the Giants and so forth. That would be no. Like, it would be the big leagues. They the yeah. big spring league training team. is where they had a spring training. So yeah, they're they use yeah, spring training. Great idea. No so American league, no national league. So they don't have anybody with the COVID uh, a virus in in Florida or uh, no, Arizona. No, they have so they're, they're going to they're gonna sequester them. the players. Oh. Yeah. The players will live in a hotel, which will be sequestered, mm -hmm. and there'll be no travel. Right. So, and they'll be tested weekly, mm -hmm. yeah. and it'll be it, no National League, no American League. So the Cactus League will play the Cactus League teams, mm -hmm. and the Grapefruit League will play the Grapefruit League teams, and then they'll have a postseason in a neutral site where the winner of the Cactus League will play the Grapefruit League. And, they, each team uh, and they will be stands. they will be I assume um, uh, in that hotel. So who's supplying the hookers is my question. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, 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 Brian. Brian had his hand up. Brian had his hand yeah, just, up. Yeah, the, and I know on, on our local radio station they were talking about that like last week or something. They've been talking, but man, you know basketball. Right when they had the one guy who tested positive, you know they just shut everything down. Well, that's yeah. the fear, right? Because as soon as a player gets it. They all get it. Yeah, yeah, right yeah. yeah, they were the first ones to shut down. I, I yeah, we got I, some sad news today that our, a friend of ours, whose husband has been in a uh, uh, home, a nursing home, because he he's he has some real problems uh, in later life, and it's sad, and we love them dearly. At the place where he's at, there've been three cases of COVID. Mm. Now you know, being in that kind of situation. And then COVID, oh man, you know, I mean, it's just. Did he say that uh, 29 people in a home died near his house last uh, night? Uh, Sibby said that at hey, 30. 30, yeah. 30, uh, 30, the entire I had, home. I don't think they reported that on the news. You know? I didn't hear it anywhere, but Sibby yeah. seemed to say it with great authority. Yeah. You know. Yeah, there, there's, and there's stuff, transparency is really bad. So Santa Clara County, where I live, uh, they've had a number of nursing homes that have had problems and deaths, but they won't tell you where. It was on the news tonight. Yeah. But I think like up in the North Bay or something, they're very transparent. They tell you exactly which nursing homes is having problems. And they're shutting some of those down. But mm. So it's really bad when they're not being transparent because, you know, they could have huge issues. Yeah, a town where my mom is, mm -hmm. they had five in one place. Hey, Bree, um, quickly, what would you want to say? Berlin game. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I was just going to say that my mom has her own house, but her gentleman friend that visits, he lives in a retirement village that's, you know, like apartment style. And I worry about that. I keep I keep mentioning that he shouldn't come over at this time. But, you know, it, what are you going to do? Boy, the f time just flies when you're having fun and uh, have viruses to talk about, <laughs> you know, uh, and it's, it's kind it, of viral. Huh? It's a viral discussion. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Brian, great to see you again tonight. So happy you've jo to chosen to join our panel. You've learned how easy it is to do. Now we can only thank teach Bill. other people. Uh, uh, Charlie <laughs> Wallace, thank you. Phil, thank you. Thanks to Jeff. Thanks to uh, our, our, our good friend, uh, 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 Tony. I always, why do I always forget his name? Kevin. Terrific. Rob, good seeing you. Bree from Malaysia. Great picture coming from Malaysia. Yeah. Eh, it's getting to be a smaller and smaller world where one day 
uh, you can spread a virus and the next day the rest of the planet is dead. And, and of course, um, um, uh, Darth Pat, thank you, Patrick, for joining us uh, tonight. Hey, listen, why don't all of you kind of give a big uh, wave goodbye and I'll, I'll, I'll wave back. That's the usual tradition. Yeah, there they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our, that's our panel for tonight. There's another one assembling right after us. Uh, with uh, with Jack Bishop and the intersection, which is next over most of this same gab net. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, and as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>